Hey guys, welcome to an auto review right here on ToyWorldOrder.com with me, Deval, and my buddy Dave Draper. Yay! Today we're going to be reviewing none other than Biker Mice from Mars! Wait, what? Oh. Antennas pop out. What? Mm. No, we're not. We're not reviewing. I, I thought we were reviewing something else. No, we are actually. We're well today. Ah, pumped. Dave, about this time last year. About this time last year. Um, Back, a Kickstarter. Um, one of many. Oh, yes, one of many. Uh, and what was the name of, of said Kickstarter? It was, uh, I believe it was called Marauder Task Force. Mm, Marauder Task Force. Yes. From the uh, from the Marauder guys. Marauder Gun Marauder Gunrunners, who have been producing custom-made weapons for a long time. A long time. Um, and in fact, I had backed one of their, uh, they did a Kickstarter for one of their weapon drops. Yes. Uh, before that. Yep. So... Uh, so they they got into the world of uh, figure making. Yes. Uh, and they decided to go the customizable route with their figures. Yes. Uh, where just basically pretty much everything is customizable. Uh, uh, you will see it is it is an insane degree of customization. And of course they got help from our friends at Boss Fight Studios. They did. Who uh, who did all the uh, the sculpting? I don't, uh, I, I don't know the, the details. The, the heads, I believe the body sculpts and everything were done by Boss Fight. I believe, I believe it though. Yeah. But uh, Boss Fight helped out on this, uh, and the the, the Marauders that they the finally has shipped. There had been some issues there with, the been some issues with the factory. Uh, yeah. In fact, as I recall, it was like really terrible. Like they actually got the figures into the states. Yes. And realized there was a problem, and had yep. to ship everything back. So it was it was a really huge disaster. It was a, it was a big it was a big deal, and, and they they ate all that cost too. Yep. So so and it, it backed up shipping by several months. These were supposed to ship in uh, March, ago. and 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 it was the same factory that the boss fight guys are using. Are using so. for retrieving hacks. So, so they had so, they had to figure out the Marauders issue in order yeah, for yeah, retrieving it, hacks it, to go forward. Yeah. But it also helped them to avoid the same issues with the the retrieving hacks. hacks. But uh, today we're taking a look at uh, Dave kickstarted uh, quite a bit of the Marauders. Not well, as... okay. I, I I did the squad level, which is a pretty low level, and then I got a couple add-ons. Right. So we'll we'll look at I believe, um, probably five figures total. Mm -hmm. Um. Now we'll look at we'll we'll look at one two three four five yeah five figures total. Okay. Um. So uh, we'll start with we'll just start with the ones that I actually backed. Okay. Which is a squad level. Um, as you can see, first of all, there's a bag with all the the weapons and stuff. Yeah, that's that's insane. And, I mean, and stands. That so is, that is just here. I'll I'll open these. The fact that you know here's there's a head and. Okay, this is the special um, Kickstarter exclusive skull baklava. Baklava. Bakla baklava. 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 The ski mask. Yeah. But it's got a special skull pattern, and in fact. On the site, you can get various heads with a variety of, of uh, patterns. Right. There are some really cool patterns, and uh, I actually, you know, I didn't get everything that you could get. And watching people post pictures in the Joe Facebook group, um, I, being me, I was like, oh, those are neat. I, I want those. Them. So I, I've hit the uh, Marauder site, which I believe we established was Marauder Inc. MarauderInc.com. MarauderInc.com. And uh, so we may have another review of some of these guys coming later, the red and the uh, Arctic sets. Yes, Dave. Uh, but I did get a couple of uh, painted face masks. Yep. And what I like about their uh, their stands here is they made their 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 stands. You can interlock them. So of course you can use these stands to create large armies of your own creations. Yeah, and I believe the stands are just basic Marauder stands. Yeah. Um, but the can... weapons, the weapons might actually be a special. Keep in mind, guys, it's been a year. It's been a year um, since I, I believe the weapons are like a special bonus for Kickstarter people. Right. I'm not necessarily sure that they came. They're technically part of the the deal. But uh, we'll start with the uh, desert, the tan desert guy. Um, we'll do a close up. Uh, a lot of people have noticed that the the regular guy head um, looks a little bit like Agent Coulson. A little um, bit. Now it's, it's just one standard head, uh, unmasked. Right. Um, he comes in all possible hair colors, and there is an African American version. Yep. And um, you'll notice, like, literally based on the way that the figure is set up, uh, there's no exposed skin, so you can right. get away with that. And here's here's if you're wondering why this little platform is here is because These there are, are tiny, tiny pieces. There are. In that bag alone, there are five pieces, one of which... That plugs into the helmet. I, that's why I went on their website in the first place. That is how tiny some of the pieces are. Yeah, that is a special plug. 
Hold on. I'm gonna put it in the put it in my hand so you can grab it out of there. There you go. That plugs into this. If we try to hand it off that way, it's not gonna work. Yeah. Well. Very, very tiny pieces. But yeah, there's a tiny little piece that plugs in there and one of the little sheet that's included, the one of the things they suggest is the pin on the modular accessories and the corresponding modular mounting holes are designed for a secure fit, but the fit is not permanent. So, which, which basically means over time they get loose. Right. Uh, the modular accessory equipped figure will be handled. Wait. If the modular accessory equipped figure will be handled excessively, or if the final configuration does not require further changes, we suggest gluing the modular accessories in place. And in fact, on this particular piece on the website, they basically say glue, glue that into the helmet. Yeah. Um, um, the bodies here are. I mean, they're as posable as... They are every bit as posable as a Joe. As a Joe, I mean... There's, double, there's one double major design difference, and... which is, we'll, we'll put the head on. Um, yeah, you've got the uh, the bros, the L bros, you've got the, uh, the the hands, are I believe cut, the wrists are cut. Right. Um, obviously, ball jointed shoulders, uh, double jointed knees, as Jason said. Yep. Uh, no rockers on the ankle, but they do move. Yep, they are. They are. And they uh, do. They do twist, and yep. they, they do go up and down. And then, the the major difference in the ball joint hips. The the major difference between this and a, a standard Joe is that the Joe would be articulated up at, at the waist. At the no, at the no, chest. At the chest. At the chest, where the chest kind of comes down over the right. waist. And this guy has a uh, ball joint, or the the same kind of joint, but his goes right in the stomach area where where it meets the hip piece. Right. So that is the major. Uh, Physical difference between these figures yeah. and a Joe. Let me see. And they're nice. I mean, they're 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 very nicely put together. I mean, they Marauders did a good job. We'll uh, we'll go close up here in just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, to and show again, you some this, of the is, this is his gear. I mean, just all these little bags and pouches and just for this one figure. Yeah. And another thing that they suggest is with a. Uh, little knives. Now you you get knives. You get enough knives for the. Uh, the sheaths that are included, right? Which is nice, but you do not get the corresponding number of pistols. No, no, not the holsters. Pistols. No, which more is, holsters than pistols. There are more holsters than pistols. One thing they suggest is that you put the pistols and the knives in their respective sheaths and holders before you attach them. And in fact, with the vest, they say attach the pouches to the vest before you put it on the figure. Right. Uh, which I did not read. And that. as you can see, the ball joints on these figures, since you can okay, thank you, you can, very much. You can pop apart the uh, apparently you can the parts here to. Uh, I mean, like you know, like they said, they're thank, they're fully custom that, buddy. customizable. Well, it's a ball joint. That's that's pretty easy to. Okay. See, Dave always gets worried when I touch his toys. Perhaps because the first your first impulse is to rip them to pieces, pull them apart, see what happens. What, do you say what happens we, is you're going to get punched. Yeah, that's that's true. What do you say we uh, we go close up and we take a look at the custom uh, uh, the, the customizable vests and all the pieces and parts for these little guys because they're they're pretty darn cool. That's where the fun comes in. What do you say, Dave? I promise I won't break anything else. We'll just right. we'll just put him there. Let's go. Let's see how the stuff up close. All right. Let's take a look at this guy. Uh, and as you can see up close, you can see all the little uh, the little mini ports here, like on his arm. Um, he's got them, you know, his arm, he's got them on his legs, on his upper leg, his upper thigh. Um, it's really about all you have, and of course the backpack pl plug, but where you really come into the customization is the actual, like, the vest here. The vest, and there are, very, there are various types of vests. There's web gear, there's armor, um, so so the vests themselves are, are, are a variety of options. Right, with the, with the pins and the plugs here, like on the pouches, uh, basically, you just you push them through the hole, and like just like Dave said, yeah. See the pieces; they're not. Uh, they do pop off sometimes. Yeah, they do pop off. Uh, some of them rather easy too. Yeah. But you can kind of see there. You've got the, you know, you've got just four, four posts here. You've got a knife sheath, and of course, like Dave said earlier, the knife, the knife does come out of there, so you can have the, uh, you have the sheath, and the, I imagine Dave once he gets these. Uh, to a certain degree, how he wants them, he'll probably be gluing these pieces. I probably will, yeah. Yeah, because they're uh, they're very tiny. They do pop out. Yep, and I, I can't imagine. But it's an, it, it's an awesome concept. It is. It's a very let, awesome. Let us, it, let us not. It, it is a very awesome concept, honestly. I mean, there's um, like here's his holster. You know, you just kind of you pop that onto his leg there. Yeah, and then his holster's on his leg. Yeah. So he's got some. Uh, I mean, like Dave said, this is just a very. Uh, or you know, if he's. Well, it doesn't really work the other way around. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. 
very small, but I'm also trying to like box the camera, you know, the, the sheath on the boot. Ah, uh, yes. Or on the... Or on his hip. Or on his so, hip. You know. Yeah. So we can have, uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of options. I mean, the, the yes. vests here, I, I attached one side of it here, but uh, the vests are pretty easy to just, you know, put over his uh, put over his head, put them on there, and then they, they plug in on the sides here. I mean, basically, I, and Hasbro's been doing vests like that for a long time. Right, right. Because um, most of their uh, most of their vests plug together like that. But uh, again, as you can see, the parts they don't uh, they don't tend to stay on at least the vest holes very well. well. And that's why they um, the body holes they they tend to want to stay in a little better. Yeah. Well. Yeah. See. Because it's a it's not as soft a plastic. Yeah. So you can put them on the arms. You know, like Dave said you can uh, a lot of uh, a lot of different uh, different arrangements here you can do with them, like on the arm there. Um, Again, you can kind of see the head looks, it's very uh, Phil Coulson-ish. Yes. Um, but of course, then you have like, you know, you have your, your weapons. They come with like this, the big... Uh, anti-take rifle. Yeah, the big anti-take rifle, which here basically uh, basically comes with the stand. So you've got your little bipod. bipod yeah. You've got your little bipod, and there's a space right there. There's two little, uh, two little indentions there that that just snaps right into, so it can fold up if need be. Um, but... Uh, the marauders here, they can uh, they can hold their weapons and get his weapon in his hand. You know, you can get them to hold their weapons. They, they hold their weapons just like the Joes do, pretty good. And actually what's interesting here is like, um, the handle on this is done in such a way, where normally like the, some of the Joe handles would just be straight up and down. These are, this is actually at an angle, so it actually fits. Some, some of the Joe weapons are in Some angle. of them, yeah. So it actually can fit a little better um, you hold it a little better too, as well as nestle, nestle that that resting piece there under his arm. So, um, some very cool, uh, very cool, interesting ideas. We're gonna put him in his pieces in the case here. Who else you got over here? Yeah, we've got a night ops guy who's in black, and I think one of the themes we're gonna see is I think the bodies are basically the same for everybody. Right. So we've got a we've got a night ops guy dressed all in black here, um, kind of your snake eyes figure. Got an urban camo guy, who's Firefly. Yep. Um, and basically, these, basically Firefly there. And again, these guys come with you know all the gear, all the stuff that. Uh, like here's here's the bag full of the, uh, of the the night ops guy. Yeah, there. the night ops guy. Now his is actually a uh, combat webbing, not a vest. Yeah, his is not a vest. Let's He's the one that I was playing with last night. Pulled out there so you can see his is actually, like Dave said, a webbing. Webbing, yeah. yeah. And like I said, there are there are several different uh, vest pieces, um, vest types. There's an armor. Oh, okay, the green guy has the armor. So, cool, Colonial Marines. Uh, okay, now these guys are my add-ons. That was the, the three that we've looked at so far are the ones from my actual Kickstarter right. pledge. And then when it was time to add on, I, I added on um, a couple guys. And so one of them is this guy, the, the uh, let's get the name correct. Uh, the Carmen stretch goal, ah. the Spec Ops dark green action figure. Gotcha. So, and he's got the armor. So, well, <laughs> you get the idea, there's, there's body armor. Which is cool. Guy. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, there are, there are the different vest variations. Um, and so this guy has the body armor version, which should have the shoulder pads, but we're incompetent. So it would be like that. And it's very, wow, it is it is very Colonial Marine. So Correct. And the helmet, oh wow, the helmet. But yeah, so that's... So the, the helmet on him is very, uh, very Cobra soldierish. Yeah, and again, they have a variety of helmets. They have boonie hats. They have um, gas masks. Right. Uh, ball caps. A lot of different ball caps. So um, if you've ever wanted to, you need to get the right head for it. But if you ever wanted to do a proper cutter, because cutter they just reused the uh, um, gun ho head. But someone with the wrong kind of hat. Hmm, I got you. Remember that. All right. So, very cool. Yeah. yeah I like his body armor. It's pretty. Yeah, pretty it's darn pretty, yeah. I wish I could get the pads work better, but yeah, it's pretty pretty darn. Cool. I, I do like that helmet a lot though, and is I like the the vest on this one a lot too. 
I do too. Like, again, like that's probably as close to a Colonial Marine action figure as we're going to get. Yeah. So I'm... Of, of this style and possible Of this style. type, yeah. Right. I mean, as, as I've often mentioned, that's like one of my big fantasy things, is to get aliens yeah. figures. Um, and just, it's, you know, again, all using the same body types. Basically using could, the same body. Yep, so you could... But that's you know, the whole point, is with all these tiny little package, packages, tiny little uh, pads and um, pieces pouches and, and yeah. things, is, is you can make your own thing. Even though you have a base body to work off of. Right. You're kind of making your own thing. And we're going to get like a third kind of helmet with the blue guy, who also has a combat weapon. So we're just going just gonna to put that on camera. <laughs> you can move up a little bit. There you go. <laughs> and he's got a helmet very similar to the Cobra guys in the last movie in Retaliation. Um, yeah, very much so. They're kind of... It's kinda... got that, that, those like little face guard things. Yeah. Um, and in fact, this guy's a very, you know, blue outfit. Um, very much could be kind of a Cobra officer type. Very, like, yeah, you play around with the parts. And obviously we're showing them in their proper color schemes. Uh, you know, you mix and match the parts and you get some really cool stuff going on. Yeah, exactly. This guy's the Guerrero Stretch Gold, the Security Ops blue action figure. Oh. Um, most of the other stuff that comes with them, you know, are the little pouches and stuff that we've been showing. They all come with one little silenced pistol. Yep. Um, they come with two knives, and then the the holsters, and, and then all the little bits and pieces. Uh, his helmet also has that little plug piece, which I believe is already plugged into place, because I was playing around with him a little bit last right, time, too. Right, right. Um, there's, there's a couple, there's one little piece, there's a crazy tiny little piece that they all come with, which is actually, you plug it into the vest, and it's, it's a little, it's a couple of loops that you hang grenades off of, and they do sell grenades. Yes. Tiny, tiny little grenades. Okay. It's, I, I don't know why, but... It's, it's a sexy pose. I guess it's a little Very cool, uh, I mean, very cool line from Marauders, and... Yeah. Something that, uh, that, that Joe fans have been wanting from Hasbro for many, many years, um, this kind of customization, uh, these kind of customization options that uh, you know, Marauders finally decided, well, Hasbro's not gonna do it, we'll do it ourselves and make our own you know, customizable in-scale figures for the line. So and again, it's got the same head, but his is a, he's a redhead. Right. Um, they have every, they have blonde, they have black hair, they have an African-American. Yeah, see, he's like a light brown, they have a dark brown. Yeah. So same same styles, but uh, yeah, just different hair colors. And then, and then the face, like you know, it's like he's, he's a little paler too, because he's a he's a redhead. Yeah, he's a little paler there. So pretty pretty darn neat. Well, uh, I I really like this idea though, and I think Marauders is uh, kind of kind of nailed it out of the park with these. So I do too. I I was really impressed. Like this was the one that I I, I don't want to say that I did it completely out of obligation, but I was like, and eh, they're army guys, right? You know, and, right. and I have GI Joes, so I wasn't like really super. You know, more army guys. Now that I have them and I've been playing around with them for the last couple hours since I got them yesterday, I'm like, these are such awesome army guys. Yeah, they're they're pretty darn. They're they're really well done. They're really amazing. Oh. They are available uh, to to be purchased on Marauder's website, MarauderInc.com. Um. Uh. Now, fair warning, you you cannot get them all together like we have them here. Right. Um, you literally have to go through piece by piece. Um, so, like, each little pouch is a separate thing. Now, they're really cheap. They're like maybe like like a couple, you know, like maybe 25 cents, or if that, for a pouch. Right. Or 19 cents. You know, I mean, they're really cheap. But trust me, because I've done this, I've gone through and put a couple of them together, and it adds up pretty quick. Yeah, it's... Um, but, yeah, they are, they are really cool, and they are really worth it. And I may hit them up again and make a couple of... Uh, more Marines. They're on. They're on stands. The stands are pretty nice too, because, like Dave said, they're just you know your basic, basic Marauder stands here. But with the, uh, although the big hole, I'm not sure what the big hole's for, because it doesn't. Uh... Um, I think those stand, those stands are actually holdovers. Those weren't designed specifically for this line. Ah, I gotcha. So I think it's a classic peg and a uh, modern peg. And a modern peg. The big one being yes. the modern peg. Well, these no, these, the, the big one being the classic. Pack. Oh, the I don't remember the big one having. I don't remember the classic figures having that big of a hole on their feet. But well, um, yeah, the new ones have the small ones. I got you. But the modern hole, of course, they just they just plug 
right on there, just like so. Yep. They hold pretty well, too. Those are good stands there. And that way you don't have to like worry about trying to pose them. But uh, cool, cool. Uh, I killed everyone. Yes, you did. I killed everyone. Yes, yes, you did. Yes, I did. Awesome, uh, awesome stuff from Marauders, though. Very cool. Yes, very, very cool. There you go, guys. Here's a look at the Marauders Kickstarter line of figures uh, from Marauder MaraudersInc.com. Um, like Dave said, you can go to MaraudersInc.com and order your own figures um, and the pieces all individually now that the Kickstarter's over with, and they're you know they've got them for sale on their on their site. So make sure you go check them out and do that because these are amazing, amazing army builders. They're very for cool. any Joe collector, uh, for any Joe fan, or for any three and three quarter inch fan. These figures are worth every penny you spend on them because they are amazing, and the customization that you can acquire with them. I mean, Dave kind of built his own with uh, you know the the gray vest here and the different and the pouch the black pouches and you kind of get an idea and a feel of you know you could add you could add that like what Dave likes to call the spray the space marine armor to like the sniper and all this other great stuff so there's a lot of different mixing and matching um, and even to you know to the point where I said you could you know you can match you can mix and match the legs uh, I'm not sure about the arms I'm not going to try to pull Dave's figures apart of the arms to see if the pegs pop out or not because I don't want to die but that'd be a bad idea but uh, technically since they're all ball jointed figures um, you technically could change just about everything on one of these figures and switch everything around so um, amazing figures though thanks to Dave for bringing them over and letting us check them out uh, and kind of giving you guys a look at what they're all about uh, make sure you like I said check MaraudersInc.com check them out and order your own Marauders figures because again they're worth every penny they are super awesome they are I, very I'm very, very awesome. impressed yes I'm, I'm super impressed with these and this is just the the precursor to what is coming uh, not only for Marauders but next up hopefully soon in the next couple months we have a whole bunch of amazing amazing figures from Boss Fight Studios coming so make sure you check that out when it when it pops up uh, gang Dave and I'll be back real soon with an all new review uh, Dave's got a huge box coming from uh, Big Bad Toy Store here real soon it's bigger by the day it, get, it does get bigger by the day so not only will Dave have a new unboxing special but we'll also have a bunch of new reviews and more coming here uh, in the next couple weeks but make sure you check that out right here on youtube.com slash toy world order hit subscribe if you have not already as the puppet likes to say mash the like button mash it mash it mash it mash it um, and gang, until next time, keep playing with your toys. Take care, guys. We'll see you real soon. I made my gray guy fighting with knives. He's like, Drake, we are leaving. Game over, man. Game over. Amazing figures. Super cool.